What is up my Rebels, Mystic Umbreon 94 here, and today I have a Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. I know I really don't do these all that often, but I felt that, you know, uh, today, you know, especially, you know, with my capture card coming right around the corner, I felt that this would actually be right around the perfect time for me to start getting, getting in Wi-Fi battles again. So I said, you know what, the hell with it. This is a very, very close game. I want to thank my friend Mark, you know, for being such a good sport. And I also want to thank, um, actually, Mark is actually Zelda Wars 98. Um, I, I want to thank him for being so, such a good sport. I'm such a dumbass today. And I also want to thank my friend uh, Pokemon Insider, aka Scott. Thank you so much for recording this battle for me, dude. I really, really appreciate it, and I cannot wait to work with you in the future. But anyways, guys, without any further ado, let's get into this battle. This battle was very, very insane. It's going to start right around now. Okay. So we're in, 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 the, in the, the good old black screen. You guys can read. There's no need for me to read that. All right. So his first lead is going to be his uh, Sylveon. My first lead is going to be uh, Victini. The first thing I wanted to do here was get out of here because you never know what these little bastards are going to do. So I went for U-turn because, you know, I always want to try and get out of there as quickly as I possibly can. Even if he were to switch out, I'd be able to switch into anything he'd possibly get into. So right now, I immediately go into Michael Fable, and I think what I'm thinking in my head right now is I want to try and get some, maybe some Calm Minds up. So he goes for the Shadow Ball. Unfortunately, he didn't get any drops. I mean, actually, fortunately for me, he didn't get any drops. Thank God for that. And he's going to swap out to his little Punny. Reason being, why he's swapping into his little Punny, I really have no idea. So the first thing I'm doing is, I'm like, okay, Michael Fable needs to set up some Calm Minds here, you know, probably. I need, I need to get as much damage off as I possibly can on this thing, you know, before it tries to do anything special he's gonna go for the dizzy punch really doesn't do all that much damage to me i go for the moon blast this is gonna hurt the little punny pretty bad and it's on red pretty much now he decided he's, he's gonna mega evolve finally i don't know what he's going to go for now i'm thinking some kind of electric type attack yeah so he's, he's gonna go for dizzy punch again but luckily for me the mega stats oh but he actually gets the critical hit and is able to knock out michael fable wow so down goes Michael Fable, and I'm gonna go into my uh, my Scorp because my 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 Gliscor, I mean my, my Gligar because a Gligar can actually take a lot of hits. And now he's actually gonna go into his uh, his Torkoal. So I go for knockoff, you know, predicting you know like any kind of switch because you know anything that comes in you know isn't gonna appreciate having its items popped off. So immediately I go in because I don't feel like getting a burn or anything like that. So I go in, into my Rotom Wash, you know, because Rotom Wash is a pretty good special defensive wall. But this Torkoal actually surprises the hell out of me. It actually goes for a sunny day. And I believe right here I go for the Hydro Pump, you know, trying to get some damage on it. But unfortunately I miss. And this Torkoal actually has Solar Beam. And that really, really shocked the crap out of me. So this is actually going to do some pretty good damage to my Rotom Wash. Uh, probably about maybe around 40%. And I also get the Luffy's recovery, so I'm in pretty good shape right now as we speak on this thing. I believe I actually go, go, okay, cool. So I actually go for Volt Switch. I try and get some damage off on this thing. And then I actually knocks it down to, to right around uh, half health, so not 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 bad for me. Now I'm going to swap into, oh, I just, I swap in, into my Victini to take the Solar Beam. Oh, okay, that was actually a good play on my half. So I swap in to take the Solar Beam on my half. And I believe right here I go for the... Okay, so he, he's going to withdraw, obviously, because he knows he really can't do much of anything to me. He's going to swap into too much, and too much is his... Okay, I get it, I get it. So I go for the Zen Headbutt, and he made a really, really nice prediction by switching into his uh, his Crocodile, because the Crocodile also has Dark Typing. It's a very, very nice play on his part. Now I swap into my, my Gligar again, because I know my Gligar can take hits, and this is my defensive wall. He goes for the crunch, does some pretty, doesn't do all that great damage to me, but I mean like, you know, it can stack up, especially you know, with crunch having defensive drop power. So he's going to withdraw out to his bubble gum once again, because he really knows he really can't do much of anything to me. I believe here I actually go for the knockoff, or go for, okay, I actually go, go, I actually go for earthquake, you know, trying to, trying to get some damage off on it, and actually does some pretty good damage, so thank you Scorp for being able to do that much damage off on him. And now here I go into my... My Rose Raid. That's actually pretty, pretty interesting play. So he's going to go for Shadow Ball. I think he was actually predicting me to switch out to my, to my Rose Raid. But Rose Raid actually eats it up like a boss. Being as bulky as it is. Has some pretty good special defense. She, he's going to withdraw his uh, Sylveon. He's going to go straight out into his Staraptor. I believe I go for... Instead of going for Sludge Bomb, I think I go for Extrasensory. Because I was predicting his Gengar swap. 
or so, I, I I don't I don't remember. I should have looked at this damn it before I got into the team, but I go for the extra sensory and I'm predicting you know anything to come in. I felt extra sensory would be the thing that actually did a lot of damage, but in the long run, the Staraptor hit really really hard, and I needed to try and get this thing out of here as possible as I could. And Brave Bird Reckless is not, it's it's pretty actually no wait is it reckless that this thing has he got a, he and he also got another crit. But yeah, um, Staraptor is a very, very hard-hitting Pokemon, and I needed to... I didn't want any, any of my Pokemon to take a Reckless. I'm pretty, actually, I'm actually pretty sure it is Reckless. What is it? Sheer Force. Damn, I, I, I can't remember the freaking ability on this thing, but... All I know is, is it hits really, really hard. That's all That's all I know. And none of my Pokemon would have appreciated that, so... I was swap out to my Haunch Crew, and I pulled off the Sucker Punch. Lucky me. I'm a genius when it comes to battling. I don't think you saw the Sucker Punch coming. And luckily for me, though, I do have a Moxie. Now, right here, I'm thinking, okay, I know I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to outspeed it because Sylveon has really, really slow stats. So here I go for the Brave Bird, and that is going to be a knockout on the Bubble Gum. So bye-bye, Gum. I treat you up and spit you out. Honchkar, unfortunately, is going to take recoil damage, but once again, I get the powerful Moxie up. And right now, we are in a pretty good position as we speak. I think I have, I think I actually still have all six of my Pokemon left. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. So I switch out from my Haunch Crow, predicting him to go for a Stone Edge. And I immediately go right back out into my Gligar once again. But he's going to go for Crunch, which is not a problem for me. I don't know why he didn't go for Stone Edge. I don't know, maybe he was actually predicting me to go into my, uh, my Gligar. But he's going to go for another Crunch because he outspeeds me. I'm going to go for Roost and get all my HP back. Thank God for that. And here we go, all the HP, yum, 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 yum. He's going to withdraw, probably predicting my, yeah, he was predicting my Earthquake. Or actually, do, do, do I go for Knockoff? Uh, I go for Earthquake. So a little bit bad on my end, but then again, at the same time, I don't really like to uh, over-predict, but he actually goes for the Thunderbolt, actually forgetting that uh, that Gligar is actually a part ground type, too. He, he was actually telling me that uh, after the battle. But he's going to go for Shadow Ball, that's going to do some pretty good damage to me. And I go for knockoff one more time to safely get this Gengar off the field. And, it, and it's it, it, it's a crit. It doesn't really matter anyways. He's going to go into Lapunny once again. And Lapunny's at pretty low health. So I'm assuming, you know, even if he does have an Ice Punch, I think the best thing for me to do here... Actually, no, he actually switch out. What did I switch into again? I swap out into my... Okay, so I actually swap out into my Victini. Whatever move he goes for High Jump Kick, I know that I'd be able to take... A high jump kick from this thing or what or any other kind of move because I know that Victini actually has some bulk and once again he actually gets a critical hit but you know instead of me going for V create I figured you know, like U-turn would actually be able to finish this thing off and so I'm able to get in a free switch in as I go for the U-turn to finish off his little punny so here comes Victini back into the Pokeball and I send out my Rose Raid and he's gonna send out I, I like how I immediately get help as soon as like as soon as I get back into battle and he's going to go to his Torkoal. And I believe right here I actually go for the Sludge Bomb. And I believe this is actually enough power to finish off the Torkoal. So down goes the Torkoal. And is that pretty much it? I'm not really too sure. Is that it? And okay, too much. Too much is his. Okay, that's right. So I knew that he was able to outspeed me because I knew that he was Scarfed. So once again I head out into my Haunch Crew. Actually, what I go to my Honch Crew? Okay, so I, I knew that he'd be okay. So he, he's get, gonna go for Crunch on my Honch Crew because I didn't really know like what he, what he was planning on doing. I'm gonna be able to go for Sucker Punch and now and try and try and get some damage off on it. Did my Gligar actually die? I can't I can't remember if my Gligar died or not. I'm so bad at this. But yeah, he's gonna um gonna be able to finish off my my Honch Crew. Unfortunately, he does get the Moxie up. I think I actually made a pretty... No, did that, did that make a bad play here? No, I don't think so. Oh, now I swapped into my... Oh, okay. Now I knew Now I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the free... I wanted to, to get the clean switch into to my Gligar to be able to take hits better. And I'm able to go for the knockoff. Get rid of the Scarf. Oh, now I remember what I was going to do. I sacrificed off my Haunch Crow so that I would be able to come in here with my Gligar on the free switch so I could, so I could get the knockoff off and knock off his Choice Scarf. Now, I'm able to come in here. Hey, he gets the Moxie, but the Moxie doesn't matter. I'm able to come in here with my uh, with, with my Victini, and I'm able to clean up with the V-Create, and that is pretty much game. That's what I was planning on doing. Wow. 
Got him, a genius. All right, anyways, you guys, uh, that's pretty much the battle. Down goes his, uh, his Pokemon, and yeah, I defeated Mark. I'm sorry if I'm not the greatest commentator when it comes to this. I'm still kind of practicing because I haven't did I haven't commented battles in a long, long time. But if you guys enjoyed the battle, um, fan, please be sure to fan type the help like button and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Peace out, guys. More Wi-Fi battles to come. Take it easy.